the group B. So I have with me Mr. Ramirez Lester A, Salazar Rafael M, Cruz Oliver Gerson A, Sabum J, uh, J A, and your Shirley Janet Cortez. Okay, to start with, uh, we have our uh, uh, training center, which is our partner, which is uh, Mga Bebe Training Center at Mga Bebe Pampanga. Uh, so, uh, we have our tagline. The tagline is, May mare maka bebe, tapat makiyabe, kabang kalawin, kabang magbib. So, we are going to work with uh, Mga Bebe Training Center with this uh, CBT program of housekeeping and safety. Okay, so our topic is rice uh, OFW. So it is says that bread and butter is an elevating service to a to a crust above. So ito po yung uh, pinaka topic na uh, i discuss namin together with uh, the the target which is the OFW. So to start with, may we request everybody to please stand for our uh, opening prayer. Then, Amen. 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 Okay. First of all, before we start the training, we're going to check the facilities, tools and equipment, and materials. So we will know kung, kung tama po ba yung mga uh, equipment na gagam gagamitin namin at umaandar po ba yung mga tools and facilities na gagamitin namin during the CBT training. So, in everything we'll do before we have to go with the CBT or the training, we have to check first all the facilities, tools and equipment, and materials. Yan. So, welcome to our TIP, which is a uh, TESTA induction program. So, first, we're going to introduce uh, the uh, TESTA itself. Okay, the TESDA itself, our provincial director is Attorney Eric O. Tueda. TESDA is uh, located at San Fernando. So, our partner, which is the LGU of Makabebe, uh, by the uh, Honorable Mayor uh, Bobong Flores, the leader of this uh, uh, Makabebe uh, Pampanga. Then, the, our school partner, or the training school partner is uh, Makabebe Training Center headed by Miss April Jaza Gonzalez. Then we're going to uh, welcome all of you into our program. Uh, our our program itself, it is all about the uh, community-based training. So the target of this program are the OFW in order for them to have an, uh, another information uh, for this qualification, no? so it, uh, hindi naman natin sinasabi it is not enough for them to have this uh, qualification, but uh, it is very uh, helpful for everybody to have an uh, additional information with regards with this qualification. Okay, so the training objectives, what will be the objectives of the CBD? Uh, to help our uh, OFW to uh, increase their knowledge or their um, yung, yung mga pinili nilang mga trabaho. And in case if there will be uh, some of them na hindi na sila makabalik sa kanilang mga uh, pinag-trabawan uh, dati, makakatulog po ito na makahanap po sila ng iba pang trabaho. Hindi ba sila makakapagtrabaho uh, sa or makakapagbalik sa OF, uh, pagiging OFW sa mismong ating basa ay magagamit nila itong uh, objectives na ito. Okay? So, for these uh, objectives, it will uh, help a lot the individual, lalo na po yung mga misan, hindi lang po yung uh, tinutulungan natin ito yung gusto-gusto nila na makahanap ng magandang trabaho. For this CBD, na po, uh, ma makakatulog po ito ng maayos o makakatulog po sa ating mga uh, kababayan no? to uh, have this good qualification. Uh, uh, pagkatapos po ng training na ito, they, they're going to undergo with the assessment. 
So yung pong makukuha nila certificate na galing kay TESDA, yun po ay magandang um, process nila if they're looking for a job which is aligned with the housekeeping uh, department. So the duration of this um, training, it has 80 hours or an equivalent of 10 days. Then it also has an entry uh, class which is 24 hours and equivalent of 3 days. It will be uh, big help for them. No? Kung in case na hindi pa sila nakahanap ng magandang trabaho but they have the opportunity to render an uh, individual work because of the entrepreneurship and uh, the training itself, it will be a good uh, opportunity for them. Okay? So, continue with our CBT for today. So, uh, for our pre-training activity. So, once again, we're going to welcome our trainees. So, welcome trainees for our CBT for the housekeeping and C2. So I have with me the attendance sheet. So before we start, we're going to have your attendance first. And done. Then another one, um, uh, I have with me the form of uh, gathering data. So we're going to see for all your past experiences. Uh, we're going to check uh, the characteristics of the learners. So please sign your Okay, for a sort of orientation with regards to the CBT of uh, basic, common, and core competencies of housekeeping and C2, so we're not going to uh, furthermore uh, uh, explanations of uh, basic and common. We're going to focus the core competencies of all our uh, qualification, which is the housekeeping NC2. The uh, housekeeping NC2 has six core competencies. They are the following. Provide housekeeping service to guests. Clean and prepare rooms for incoming guests. Provide ballet, uh, uh, ballet services and laundry linen and guest clothes. Clean public area facilities and equipment. And six, we have to deal or how to handle intoxicated guests. So for all the core competencies of this qualification, we only have to choose one in order for us to uh, explain or uh, in detail of this uh, CBT. So we focus on the um, core competency number three. Okay? So I'm going to give you... Uh, a sort of information. What is community-based training? Okay? When we say community, ano po yung nauuna natin na yung isip pag nasa community tayo? Or when you heard the word community? You are outside of a school proper training. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin community, nasa labas po tayo ng skwelahan. Okay? It's either nasa uh, pag-community, nasa lugar po tayo ng isang komunidad. It can be the training, can be uh, made with the ano tang barangay. Okay? Or otherwise, meron silang ibibigay na lugar na wherein uh, medyo komportable ang bawat isa. Or otherwise, meron po silang isang bahay sa isang komunidad na hindi po nila ginagamit. Okay. Ano po yung advantage uh, of having the community-based training? We are giving the opportunity on that community to give all the needs. No? Tayo yung pumupunta sa kanila, tayo yung nagpupuro sa kanila in order for us to, to give or to have or to render a good service for them. Okay? So, ayun po yung kagandahan ng community-based training. Okay? Ang, ang ka kaibahan po niya sa school, pag sinabi natin school-based training, so pag sinabi natin school, nandun po yung mga marami qualification na nagtuturo or maraming uh, rooms, ang nandun po lahat. But in community-based type, dinadala natin yung school natin sa community. And even your materials, equipment, no? and even your 
uh, teachers or trainer. Okay? So, doon po natin ginagawa ang ating uh, training. Okay? Then, the last one, what would be the role? Yan. Ito yung mahirap, no? What would be the role of the trainer? And what would be the role of the training? Okay? As a trainee, what would be your role? For this uh, uh, training? Makiling pa. Makiling. Number one. Or pangalawa? Makiling ng Yan, you have to participate also. Okay, that's very good answer, no? Uh, being a trainee, we are expecting all of uh, all the trainee na kailangan ay makinig po ng maayos, no? Para alam po natin yung gagawin natin during the activity. Then, kailangan din natin makipag-cooperate. Ano pa, yung number three, yung number three na kailangan-kailangan natin na para mapaganda ang isang training ng, uh, ng ating uh, community-based training. Kailangan ay lagi po tayong uh, attendance. Ayan. Baka, ka, baka dahil sa community-based training siya, eh dahil nasa community na nila, dahil kapit-bahay nyo lang si si chapel or si barangay kung saan natin gagawin, eh tinatamad pa kayong pumunta. Ayun na nga, ang pinuntahan, tatamad pa tayo. Okay? So, kailangan po ay pag uh, magpitraining tayo, number one is the attendance. Kaya nga po, A is sa alphabet, di ba? A, B, C. So, nagpuuna yung A. So, kailangan attendance. Na po? Then, number two is cooperation. No? Then, number three, kailangan ay Ano po? Maginig tayo ng maayos. Okay? So, that will be the uh, ano, uh, sikreto po para magpatapos po natin ang matiwasay at maganda ang ating training. For the training. How about the trainer? Yan. Ano naman ang mga expectation natin sa ating mga trainer? Sige. Ano expectation? Magaling magturo. Ayan. Sige. Okay. Uh, more experience para makapag-share siya, no? So, very good. Yun naman po talaga yung nilahanap natin with our trainer. No? Kailangan yung expectation ng mga trainee natin. Number one is, magaling magturo. Yan, kailangan eh. Yung tinuturo ay align doon sa topic na tinidiscuss. So, yung experience. Sabi nga, you cannot share without your experiences. Kung wala ka, hindi mo ito pwede i-share sa iyong mga students. So, okay guys, uh, that will be all. And uh, next will be uh, our recognition of prior learning.